Assalamualaikum and hi. Today we are going to present about sequence and series in chapter 3. So, in this chapter, we need to know the meaning of the sequence and series, formula of every series, and the sum to infinity. What is sequence? Sequence is a list of numbers that are written in definite pattern according to a simple rules and each number in sequence called terms. There are two types of sequence. First, finite sequence and infinite sequence. What is finite sequence? So, finite sequence consists of fixed number while infinite sequence consists of unknown number of terms. We are going to series. Series is the sum of the terms of a sequence and there are two types of six series. First, finite series and infinite series. Finite series is a fixed number of terms, while infinite series is an unknown number of terms. There are two types of series, which is arithmetic series and geometric series. We are going to arithmetic series first. So, we can find the n terms of arithmetic series by using the formula of Tn equal to Sn minus Sn minus 1. We can find the terms of the n, we can find the n terms by using the formula A plus n minus 1 times D. What is A? A is the first term of arithmetic series, D is the common difference in the arithmetic sequence and series. We can find the sum of the n series by using these two formula. Sn equal to n over 2 times a plus l. This can be used, this formula can only use uh, for finite series because L is the last term in finite arithmetic sequence and series. <coughs> so, for the other sum of the n term, which is n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. This formula can be used for infinite sequence of arithmetic series. For geometric series, we can find r by using Tn over T times N minus 1. So, what is R? R is the common ratio in geometric series. As for A, A is the first term of geometric series. And this, uh, there are two types, two formula to find geometric series. Sum of geometric series for first Sum of geometric series is 1 times 1, a times 1 minus r power n over 1 minus r for r less than 1. And for r more than 1, we need to use a times r power n minus 1 over r minus 1. This is the last formula and there are only one formula which is sum of infinity. The formula is 1 a over 1 minus r, which is a is the first term and r is the common ratio. So the question a is in an arithmetic progression, the sum of the first four term is 46. And the seventh term is it twice of the second term by five. Obtain the first term and the common difference for the progression and calculate the, the sum of the first ten. So the first step is we come up the the formula of sum of n. So sum of m equal to n over two bracket two a plus n minus one multiplied by d, and the formula of term equal to a. Uh, bracket n minus 1 multiplied by d and then the second step is uh, the, the information from the question is 
the first four term is 46 so we can write as 4 equal to 46 so from the formula of sum of n we can write 4 over 2 bracket 2a plus 3d close bracket equal to 46 so 2a plus 3d equal to 23 so that will be the first equation and then from the equation the seventh term is twice of the second term by 5 so we can write t7 minus 2 multiplied by t2 plus bracket equal to 5 so that will be t7 equal to a plus 6d uh, minus, minus 2 multiplied by a plus d equal to 5 so a plus 6d minus 2a minus 2d equal to 5 and then negative a plus 4d equal to 5 so a equal to 4d minus 5 so the second step second step is we just substitute the, the equation 2 into equation 1 the equation 2 that we got is a equal to 4d minus 5 and the equation 1 2a plus 3d equal to 23 so that will be 2 bracket 4d minus 5 plus back plus bracket plus 3d equal to 23 so 2 multiplied by 4d minus 5 will be 8d and then minus 10 plus 3d equal to 23 so 8d plus 3d equal to 11d minus 5 equal to 23 so 11d equal to 23 plus 10 so 11d equal to 33 d equal to 3 so d equal to 3 mm. so when we got d equal to 3 we just put in into the equation 2 a equal to 4d minus 5 so a equal to 4 multiplied by 3 minus 5 so a equal to 7 so the last step is um, s10 calculate the sum of the first 10 that means s10 the sum of 10 so sum of 10 we just follow the follow the formula of sn n over 2 bracket 2a plus n minus 1 multiply by d so s10 equal to 10 over 2 bracket 2 multiply by 7 plus 9 multiply by 3 plus bracket so when we use the calculate so there will be 2005 thank you okay for the net for the question b a ball is dropped from a height of two meter each time the ball hits the floor it bounces vertically to a height that it, that is three over four of the previous height the first question find the height of the ball at the 10 bounce refer to the question we know that a is 2 and r equal to 3 over 4. For this question, we use geometric sequence formula, which is Tn equals to A, multi, multiply, which means Tn equal to A multiplied by r, power of n minus 1. So, for example, T1 equals to 2 bracket 3 over 4, power of 1 minus 1. So, one. so we do the same. So, we do the same thing to the T10. T10 equals to 2 in bracket 3 over 4 power of 10 minus 1 which mean 2, two 
bracket 3 over 4, power of 9. So, for the final answer, we got T10 is equal to 0 0.15 meter. For the next question is, find the total distance that will that the ball will travel before the 11 bounds. To find the total distance that the ball will travel before the 11 bounds, we will use the geometric series methods. Travel distance during each bound forms geometric sequence. The first term of A equal to 2 meters and the common ratio R is 3 over 4. Each bounds reaches a height of 3 over 4 of its previous height. The formula that will be used is S equal to A over 1 minus R. In our case, first term is 2 meters, common ratio is 3 over 4. Now, to find the sum of distance traveled before the 11 bounds, we will be using the sum of 10 equal to A 1 minus R power of N over 1 minus R. Now, we will transfer the information that we got into the formula. 2 plus 3, 1, 2 plus 3, 1, 1 in bracket, 1 minus 3 over 4 power of 10 over 1 minus 3 over 4. Therefore, the total distance that the ball will travel before the 11 bound is 13.324. That is all from me. Thank you.